Hey you guys, how's it going? DOJ2 here and welcome back to Fortnite Save the World and welcome to my in-depth look and analysis and guide to this amazing, amazing new weapon, the De-Atomizer 9000. Absolutely incredible, just astounding. I cannot begin to tell you guys how impressed I am with this weapon, how fun it is, and it's it's just gorgeous. Look at this. Look at this attention to detail. <laughs> so in this video, guys, what we're going to do is I am going to jump into it. We're going to talk about everything I've done to this weapon, what perks I put in it, why. We're going to do an in-depth look at the stats on this weapon, what each of those mean, and the good and the bad of the weapon because there is some bad. Uh, and finally, we're going to go ahead and I'm going to look at my hero loadouts. I'm going to explain to you guys why I'm using the loadout I'm currently using, as well as show you guys a couple of other loadouts you can use um, and how they can be good, but also how they can be bad. I will, of course, show you guys my personal loadout that I use that is just my favorite in general. A lot of you guys have seen me use it and a lot of you guys ask why I use that setup. So I want to show you guys why I use that setup. Also. We're going to take it into a match. Uh, we're going to take it into a level 140 match. We're going to see just what this weapon can do and why I why I love it so much. It is just absolutely amazing. But first, I just want to say huge thanks. All of you guys who have been coming to the streams, you guys are amazing. All of you guys watching my videos, thank you so much. Everyone who's been donating, subscribing, becoming a member, buying merch, you guys are absolutely awesome i thank you so very much and also especially you guys using my creator code code duj2 whether it be in battle royale in the shop or in save the world to purchase llamas or even in the epic game store when you buy a game thank you thank you so much guys you guys are amazing i thank you very very much so let's jump into this and the first thing you guys are gonna see uh, here is yeah I made mine level 130. Believe it or not, I made mine level 130. Now, why did I do that? The reason why I did that is because of the extra damage. And to show you guys the comparison, I have a 106 from before and I have a 130 from now. And as you guys can see, the 106 was maxing out at 38,000 damage. The 130 is maxing out at 50 thousand damage 12,000 more especially once we add the crit build on this thing it's gonna be it's awesome it's uh it's pretty much every single time 150,000 it's it's wonderful it's just absolutely wonderful but let's go back into the schematics let's take a look at the weapon and let's talk a little bit about why I made the build I did and about the stats now let's start over at the stats as you guys saw this is the level 131 its damage is at 50,000 its critical hit chance at 38 because I put a crit rating on it I put a double crit damage on it to take it up to 320 its fire rate is 1 its range is 768 that's the first negative right there its durability is 42 it's a launcher that's kind of a negative but it's one that I'm going to show you guys how to fix with my setup its impact is actually pretty decent it's heat capacity heat regeneration cooldown and overheat cooldown right here this is what makes it both good and bad now if you guys haven't seen before whenever you have a weapon that has this it means we've only had one before which is the plasmatron 9000 it means no reload unlimited magazine until you either run out of bullets or ammo or the weapon breaks in the case of a launcher because it has such a low durability it's going to break pretty early on on you now how can you improve this a little bit well the durability before this before you put a durability perk is only 30 so you only get 30 shots before this thing breaks putting a durability perk is highly recommended for every single launcher it doesn't matter what launcher you're using I highly recommend you put at least one durability on it because you want to be able to make it last longer. If you put two on it, it can be good and bad. Uh, I did that on my Jabberwocky, which I'm kind of thinking of maybe removing. Because I have this weapon now, I may have a one-two punch kind of thing. And we'll, we'll talk about that in a bit. I went ahead and put double crit damage on it to take it up to 320 and the crit rating. This, I feel, is a great setup. Of course, you can change it around. If you wanted to, you could put damage on it or, or the cool rating. You could put double crit rating on it to guarantee a little bit more of that crit hit chance. But I got to tell you, I, I pretty much crit every single time. 
so it's not so bad. Uh, you can change also heat capacity, cooling, and all that. And of course, I will show you guys this weapon overheating, but I'm also going to show you guys how you can avoid that because you don't really need to let it overheat on you. Now, is this weapon the new, the best launcher in the game? Well, like I said, it's got its goods and its bads. Yes, it's wonderful. It's an explosive weapon launcher. Retro Sci-Fi fires a ball of energy that explodes on contact and sends out piercing energy projectiles, does not consume ammo, has very low durability. Uh, what we know from the patch notes is that this is 15 piercing projectiles that explode out. It really does look like a fireworks. It's amazing. We'll fire it up in the sky and, and you guys will see it. it. It's really cool. Now, you can't really control where those go. They just explode out. That's why if you throw it into a building, it'll explode out and it will destroy a lot of the building. Really good for clearing out buildings as well. But you can't really control where those piercing shots go out. They're just going to fire out. And I got to tell you guys, a lot of times it kind of feels like they're just going willy-nilly all over the place. And you may shoot it into a crowd of husks. And then you're like, wait, why are there still so many left over? It's just pure chance that they were standing where the shot missed them. Or it pierced them, but it didn't take them out. So you got to remember that. Also, even though it's a really good weapon, it fires pretty fast. Its fire rate is really good. It does only have a base of 50,000 for a launcher. So if we compare it to a 106, let's compare it to my 106 Jabberwocky. So comparing it, well, yeah, let's compare it to my 106 Jabberwocky. My 106 Jabberwocky has double durability, reload, and damage. It doesn't even have that much damage on it, and it's already coming in at a 105 DPS with a uh, Jabber 140 damage, 140 damage on impact. Now. And of course, that impact is beautiful. Now, if you look at the Santa's Little Helper, of course. So when it comes to that sense, I don't really recommend that this weapon is going to be a weapon that you are going to look for as a, you know, it, it does okay damage on Miss Monsters. But definitely, if you're surrounded by a couple or a few of Red Eyes, especially if you go into like an encampment mission, you guys know how now Red Eyes are popping up like crazy and they've gotten really good. They're, they're, they're shooting a lot more accurate now. You get surrounded by a few of them. Trust me, you're not going to be able to take them out right away. So yeah, having another weapon that's going to give you that, for example, you know, switching to a Jabberwocky or something, is going to give you that extra damage to be able to knock them out. Or if you have, um, I'm also been pairing it with my Candy Corn LMG. I've been pairing it with my uh, my Zap Zap. I've, I've been pairing it with a bunch of different weapons. Even, even the Noble Launcher. And I'll show you guys why I've been using the Noble Launcher too. So... Pairing it with another weapon that's going to do some damage for you is going to be really good because as wonderful as this is, it's not going to be able to clear out everything. And even if you take it up against, like right now, I'm looking at a max at about 150,000 damage, taking it up against a level 140 or above Smasher, it's just going to tickle him. It's not going to do much damage. Now, there is a way of getting more damage, but I'm going to talk about the pros and cons about that when we get to the hero loadouts. Now, finally, the last thing I want to talk about this weapon is going to be if you want to go ahead and build it with a heat capacity and or if you want to change the damage to miss monsters and bosses, it's got potential. You can definitely go with that route if you want. But I highly recommend that this is the build you want to go for it because it's going to clear a lot of mobs. It's going to be absolutely wonderful. It's kind of going to come to take the place of the noble launcher in a way especially when you go into into encampments it's wonderful encampments okay so let's go ahead and let's talk about the hero loadouts and why i'm using this hero loadout and what other hero loadouts you can use now i've tried three basic hero loadouts i've you tried this hero loadout i've tried a hero loadout where i have demolicious penny as my main why because if she's in the commander she gets a 50 percent increase in launcher damage that's very nice um, so if you think about 50%, if we, you know, it's going to be another, it's going to be up to 75, it can, you know, crit at two something, it's not bad, but you're going to lose on them out on the main thing, which is Enduring Machine. This is why I use 8-Bit Demo. I use this because even though I'm going to be doing pretty good, you know, I'm going to, I'm going to do really good, my, my, ability is going to be good my damage is going to be really good it is launchers and this is my explosive constructor setup i use this setup to try and make my launchers last longer because that's the main problem launchers are gone in a snap 
Eh, that was an okay snap. So <laughs> that's what we want to do. We want to make it last longer. And what does Enduring Machine do? Enduring Machine Plus, after ability cast, weapons lose 40% less durability for the next six uses. Which means that if I use Decoy, Plasma Pulse, or Bull Rush, and then I'm going to have six seconds, sorry, six uses for my next six uses of any weapon that will have extra durability. That is pretty fantastic. It's actually very, very fantastic. Now going on, what do I use? I use Preemptive Strike for each hero of Epic or Higher Rarity with at least four stars. I get an extra 6.5% uh, full health damage. That is gonna be a 32.5 extra damage against a full health enemy. Of course, most launchers, if you're gonna go up against most enemies, they're gonna take them out in one hit. So you guys are gonna be seeing constant 150,000 against pretty much any single enemy. And that's what we want to do. We want to clear those basic mobs out. We're going to put in Dem uh, Pen Demolicious Penny in there with Faster Explosions. She's going to give us a 17% perk. We're going to use Wukong, although I'm tr thinking of changing him out. Uh, but every six range of weapon eliminations trigger an explosion, which deals 37 base damage in a one percentile radius. It helps out. We we're clearing out a lot of enemies. We're going to be throwing in Cyberclops in there with his... Plasma Arc Energy Damage has a 20% chance to zap near by enemies for 58% of damage health. D energy Damage. This is an energy weapon. Also, my Jabberwocky is energy and my Zap Zap is also energy. The three main weapons that I'm using with this setup. So he actually fits very, very nice in here. Now, I could put in here, I could put that Plasma Arc Plus. But again, what I'm focusing on with this and with all of my explosives is I'm focusing on durability and I'll show you guys that in action in a second. Next we've got present arms with Jolly Headhunter. She eliminates enemy eliminated enemies have a 15% chance to drop a present. Presents grant a buff lasting 8 seconds which is a huge amount of time which can give you 8.5 movement speed, 6.5 damage or 21.6 energy over time. Uh, the damage is what we're kind of looking for. We're looking for that damage one. I wish that the presents would drop with different colors so you would know like red is damage, blue is speed, green is whatever. Uh, energy, you know, I kind of wish that would happen so you knew which present to go for, but it is, and of course they don't stack. And finally, Survivalist Jonesy, because you know we gotta have him in every single setup. I've got my Adrenaline Rush and my Stationary Hover Turret. Now, the other two or three setups that I've looked at is putting Demolicious Penny in first slot. Of course, you're gonna get that 50% damage, but again, durability that's what i'm looking for the other setup is if you use cyberclops again you're going to get yourself an extra 116 percent damage but again durability and and this is the thing these setups that i'm talking about yes you get more damage but again um, there's no way that you're going to be able to get yourself let's say a million damage with this weapon okay so it's there's no reason to do any other setup that's going to give you damage that you're going to kind of waste. If you're going up against a, if you're going up against the Smasher or something else like that, this weapon is going to be really great for that first hit. Takes out all the mobs and all the husks around it, but then you're going to have to switch to a different weapon to do a lot more damage. Again, that's not what I'm looking forward with this setup. I'm looking for the durability. And the last setup that I did look at and some people will recommend to use was go ahead and use Mr. Uh, Rex Jonesy? What's his name? Rex Jonesy? I think his name is Rex Jonesy. Where is there he is? Rex Jonesy, yes. So Rex Jonesy is a really interesting setup. And I've actually used him in a lot of different setups, including the Boombo setup and a couple other ones, which is good, but you run yourself into a slight problem with Rex Jonesy. So Rex Jonesy, what does he do? Rex Jonesy has Saurian Might every one second, adds 9% of current health to damage of next web ranged weapon hit. So, what do you want to do? You want to change your team perk. You want to change it to Blast from the Past. And then you want to put two more of your Dino Heroes in here to act, trigger that activate. Now, what does that give you? That gives you probably about seven, let's say 700,000, somewhere like that health. So, 9% of that current health, let's round it up to 10%. 10% of that extra health is going to go into extra damage on top of your damage. It's not, it's enough, it's, and it's off your base health. It doesn't add it to your base damage. And then on top of that, you get more crit or anything else. It's just an extra bunch of damage that you get. Now, the main problem with this is that let's say you get 10%, you get 70,000, an extra 70,000 base damage on anything. 
that's not bad because if you're thinking about it you're going to be the best setup i could possibly find out i was hitting anywhere between 240 to 250,000 in the first hits and you know what that's great that's really great you can take out most of the red eyes in like three hits sometimes four if you don't trigger your crit but against a smasher it just tickles him i mean you need you if you're gonna want to do a smasher like that you gotta be bringing like the the million damages you know 500,000 and above to a million so he's great and also the reason why I, do, I didn't like Rex Jonesy was I had to lose two here I had to lose two so yes I could lose explosive rounds and I could lose present arms to put two of the dino heroes in here I would get myself you know some extra damage of course and some extra armor sorry energy and armor so in that sense it wouldn't be bad but I gotta tell you the main problem that I go back to yet again is the problem of durability and let me show you guys what that durability is now so let's go ahead we're gonna jump into a level 140 mission uh let's go into yeah let's go into this one we'll go into this fight category Ooh, wow okay level 140 fight category for storm if we actually are able to go up against an encampment i'll be able to show you guys just how good and how bad oh there we go so he's that's that's not your move jonesy <laughs> that's not your move man all right so the last thing i want to talk about right now while we wait for this to load up is i gotta tell you guys this launcher is extremely fun it is really really great am i taking out my noble launcher well i've kind of come across a one-two punch I sometimes what I do is I'll use a noble launcher and this one if I'm going on into any encampment that's like around level 100 to 116 even 124s but the 140s yes I am maxed right now but the 140s if you trigger an encampment your enemies are going to be level 172 and I'm going to show you guys that this thing does nothing against level 172 red eyes or miss monsters they just tickles them so you need a little bit bit more you know bang for your buck you need a little bit more Stand punch so what i've been alert. using is i've been using jabberwocky as well uh the boom bow is actually pretty good as well but anyway let's go ahead i already have one lined up here so i have one lined up here let me show you guys well first of all let me show you guys the cool of this look at that it totally looks like firewood isn't that awesome it totally looks like first now let me show you guys the overheating so if you just hold down your mouse after four hits boom there we go it overheats it takes a couple of seconds or a second and a half for it to you know come to go by and you're good to go now you don't really need is there an encampment around here if there's an encampment around here i'll show you guys how in the oh there's enemies here um so basically if you're gonna go up against some enemies you just shoot them and then you shoot these enemies here and 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 you keep running and shoot and you keep running and shoot if you guys notice i'm not really overheating as long as you're moving around a little bit you're never gonna overheat so overheating is not gonna be a problem in that sense now let me show you guys here with this group coming here the main problem is let me run around a little bit and let me show you guys what this problem is here now see where these guys are there uh, we got to go a little farther let's go a little farther over here all right so let's say that i want to attack a group of enemies that's coming from me a little far away check this out it doesn't even reach them i i don't think i can even hit this tree yeah the base hit didn't hit the tree so that's the main problem you don't have the range so if you see a group of enemies a little farther away and you want to engage them well you're out of luck because the range on this weapon is really not that great so that's going to be a problem also the other problem that i showed you guys is as you guys can see i have no control i have absolutely no control where these extra shots are going to go so if i shoot it's it's good luck to me or not if in case let me go ahead and take out this uh well, i wanted to take her out so it's good luck to me if uh if my extra piercing shots hit or not so you're kind of you know it's kind of you're out of luck if you do and uh if you do hit it then you know good for you all right let's go and go ahead and take get this guy too because i don't want to go ahead and waste more of these shots and I can show you guys what I really like about this setup and why I use this constructor. So, pay close attention. We've got right here my... Oh, I'm, I'm, an, I'm using a 106. That's why. 
Let's take that 130. Okay, so we're using the 130. As you guys can see, I've got a durability of... Uh, oops. That's the wrong weapon. That's the wrong weapon. Oh, I don't have any more. All right, let's make a couple. I, I keep confusing it with the plasma trunk. All right, let's make a couple more of these. Uh, and I'll show you guys. There we go. There's one. All right, so we have a fresh one. So, the Atomizer 9000, durability of 43. Wow, that's not a lot. 43 shots and we're done. I don't even think it's 43. It might be even more. Let's see. Uh, that's... Let's see. There it is. 41.6. Wow, it's more than one hit. Uh, so what I do is I drop an ability. I drop an ability and look at that. That's pretty cool, isn't it? So what do we get? We got ourselves a much higher durability. Now this only lasts for six shots, but a lot of you guys, if you've watched me stream, you may know that sometimes I'm like doing this and I'm counting in my head. I'm like one, two, three, four, five, six, and then I drop another one. That's the perk of this setup. Now, let's go see if we can't find a Red Eyes or a Smasher. And I'll show you guys why this setup is not good for the... Oh, there's a Red Eyes right there. Okay. There's a Red Eyes right there. Let me show you guys how much this thing hits. Uh, that... You are not welcome here. He might take me out. So, that actually wasn't bad. That's only a one, level 140, though. That was pretty good. Uh, so yeah, against the level 140, that's really good. It's doing pretty good. Oh my gosh, 200,000. 200,000 damage. Goodness gracious. That's, that's just too much. It's awesome. It's too much, guys. It's too much. Anyway, anyway, so there we go. That is it. That is the Deatomizer 9000. Um, I kind of want to take you and show you guys, um, let's see if we can't find an encampment really quick. If we can find an encampment really quick, I'll be able to show you guys just how... It's a good weapon. If you guys saw there, I was pretty much almost taking out everything. Uh, and that's what we want, right? That's what to totally what we want. I shouldn't have done that. Look at that. Just takes them out. Takes them out. Let's do this right there inside. Oh, that's just evil, man. That was just wrong, man. Let's go ahead and take that one out uh, here. There you go. Wow. Oh, these are level 174. Wonderful. These are level 174. Are these? Okay. So, see the difference between these? These are 174s, and their health is just monstrous compared to these 140s. Look at that. The health is just... It's incredibly different. The level of health they have is just crazy. But anyway, anyway. I'm going to leave it there, guys. Unfortunately, we didn't find ourselves an encampment. I was hoping we could find an encampment so I could show you guys against a one, a 174 Red Eyes. I don't recommend taking this weapon. I do recommend using it to clearing out the lower mobs. Uh, but the two main negatives about the weapon are going to be its low durability, which, of course, that's why I use the setup. That's why I use the setup. As you guys can see there, my durability is much, much higher. It's just wonderful. Uh, and the other thing that I also use, I forgot to turn off my... Um, the other reason that I use this setup is going to be... Well, that's the main reason. Um, I'm going to be able to get a considerable amount, a considerable amount of higher durability. And it's just going to make it last so much longer. And it's a pretty fun weapon, too. It's a really fun weapon. Anyway, I'm going to leave it there, guys. Don't forget... To have yourself a wonderful day. Thanks a lot. I forgot about that. I used to say that, didn't I? I used to say that and I totally forgot about that. Let's say that again. Guys, if you enjoy this video, if you enjoy what I do on my channel, please, 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 please do me a huge favor and have yourself a wonderful day. Thanks a lot for watching. That range though, man. Look at that range. Like, check this out. Look at the difference here. Boom. Hits the wall. Look at this. 
It it barely made it to here. Look, it barely made it to here, man. <sighs> if only the range was more. Thanks a lot for watching, guys, and I'll see you guys next time. See ya.